And we're back, and it's time for the big question, in which I handed to pop a lunchbox to expand our minds. Yes, that's true. We're going to expand the mind. We're going to grab either end of it and just pull and pull and pull until we hear our weird, deepest, darkest wrestling thoughts. This week on The Big Question, uh, I was inspired by Monday Night Raw with the announcement that the Bushwhackers are being um, inducted. And that sparked a very heated debate in our weird little uh, hangout because some people were happy that the Bushwhackers are being inducted and other people are not happy that the Bushwhackers are being inducted. And uh, basically the question for this week is the WWE Hall of Fame is such a thing with the big announcements before WrestleMania every year is such a thing sustainable in the long term? Hmm. Like yes. just, just in general? In general. Will they eventually just run out of interesting acts to induct? Uh, I, I think on if we're going to be close to the wonderful John Syracuse, on an infinite time scale, yeah, they're going to run out of people. But I... I don't think that they're going to run out anytime soon. Consider what, what, the fact that what, right, what well, big I, name is going to be inducted in ten years? Cena. Yeah, the people now. I mean, that's one thing. I mean, the I mean, people who are in there now. Let's say, hey, listen, CM Punk pulls the stick out of his ass, he goes into the hall. <laughs> but, I mean, honestly, if he like the fact that Randy Savage is only going in now. Tells me that there's like, it, listen, there, CM Punk will hold some beef. Brock Lesnar will go in. Kane will go in. Taker will go in. Cena will go in. Mark Henry will go in. Big Show will go in. I mean, there's Mark like Henry a whole. Will, like, Mark Henry will go in? Yeah. Mark Henry, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, Mark Henry's going in. Are you kidding? Career. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, he's right. Absolutely. Right. It doesn't Same seem like it. Eamon, Eamon, here's the difference it doesn't seem like it. Because you've actually experienced his career, as opposed to <laughs> everybody else. As opposed well, to I'm, everybody I'm else. The Bushwhackers were great back in the day. Hey, hey, they hey, 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 hey. They were. Hey, hey. There's, there's no actual. Let's, let's consider this. There is no actual like set of metrics or numbers or whatever. But Coco Beware is in the Hall of Fame. The fuck did Coco Beware actually do? Nothing other than be Coco Beware, and he was on that album that one time, and he had a parrot on his shoulder. Mark Henry goes in the goddamn Hall of Fame. That's not a question, right? Like they, they will put Mark Henry in. There is a list of people now who we are all watching right now. Orton goes in. Mm -hmm. Batista goes in. Mm -hmm. Triple like, H. A, Triple H. Whenever oh, he decides, hell, Triple Vince. H. No, no, no. Vince no. and Stephanie both go in. Vince goes Vince. in when he dies. Yes. Vince goes in when he dies. Which I Triple mean, H, Triple H will follow in Vince's in Vince's path, where Vince could very easily, right now, tomorrow, say, "I want to be in the Hall of Fame, damn it!" and and he could just go in. Okay, but oh. he's not going to. Mm -hmm. He's not going to go in until he dies. And Triple H and Stephanie will likely do the same thing. They will not go into the Hall until they are done with the WWE, which is never. So they will never actually go into the Hall of Fame. Uh, Matt and Mike, uh, what, what do you think about the sustainability of the whole thing? I think uh, first, like, I think they'll obviously still, they'll have plenty of people to put into the Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. um, I think they can induct fewer people per year. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't, I don't think, I don't think you have to have six to seven people every year. Like, you save the bigger number Hall of Fame class, for like your five year and your like five year WrestleManias or your ten year WrestleManias, like WrestleMania thirty, you're supposed to have a big class. WrestleMania thirty one, you can have three to four people go in and everyone will be okay with it. You have yeah, one celebrity, one celebrity, three wrestlers. Celebrities, you will never run out of with WWE because all you need to do is fart in a WWE ring and they will put you in the Hall of Fame. Hugh Jackman will eventually be in there. This yes. is a guarantee. Oh, yeah. Uh, but I mean, like, and honestly, I think once more and more people let go of some of their issues 
or you let go of personal demons that have happened, like uh, the British Bulldogs deserve to go in. Like, Owen whenever um, Owen Hart's widow comes around, he will go into the Hall of Fame. Right. There are pe- there are people who have mitigating circumstances. That's why Macho Man took this long. Right. Like it'll it'll happen for all the guys that were missing eventually. I mean, you still like we've never inducted a referee. Oh wow. I mean, I know there have been some some shit with the Hebners in the past, but Earl Hebner I think deserves to go in the Hall of Fame. Mm-hmm. Joey Morella deserves to go in the Hall of Fame. Earl but, Hebner will go in the Hall of Fame, but then he'll sell his ring out of the boot of his car. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he will. But you know what? He'll be in the Hall of Fame. Right. <laughs> but, like, Nick Patrick. Mm-hmm. I'm serious. Nick Patrick, Hall of Fame. Uh, who is the one? Uh, uh, Curtis. Mark Curtis? Uh, yeah, Mark, Mark Curtis. Curtis Hell, Teddy Long. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, we haven't even started to induct any referees. You could say. And the only ring announcer well, that's in there is Howard Finkel. Pat Patterson. Uh, mean Gene. Oh, yeah, Mean Gene's, mean in, Gene's in there. Yeah. Uh, Pat Patterson's technically a referee. You say he's at WrestleMania, you know. Yeah, you know. But where's Muhammad Ali for the celebrity one, right? You know. Um, I thought he was already in. He might be. Okay, you're right. You're right. Uh, Anyways, uh, what do you think, Garza? Uh, building on what Mike was saying, I don't think they'll ever like run out because the the quality may get lower because eventually people like Maria Menounos uh, is going to get in. Zack Ryder is going to get in. And even then, if, if you run out of those, you still have the old territories with, with that Big Senior used to have. You have in, uh, internationals to bring in. And there's also had some years ago. Oh. Right. They did not team matches mm-hmm. to the Hall of Fame. But they'll always have something to induct. That's right. It's a it's a long history, and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people have been through there. And they're not all going to be macho man. So some of them will be bushwhackers. Um, and the newer and newer inductees that we get, it's like you said, sort like you were joking with Eamon, But if we've seen their whole career, or at least eighty percent of their career in WWE, mm-hmm. it may just seem less important because, yeah. oh yeah, obviously the outlaws are going to go in. We've seen their entire run, but obviously they're going to go in. Right. Exactly. Like exactly. Christian, going to go into the Hall of Fame. Trish Stratus is already in. Lita is in. That's yeah. crazy. That seems crazy. They seem way too young. It's one thing Eddie having been somebody that passed, but well, some of these guys. But Trish and Lita have officially retired. That's true, too. That's true, too. Like, they, they, like Trish has gone on to become a mom and all that stuff, and that... And, you know, perfectly fine. Right. But that's, that's the reason that she went in. All right. Of. I want well, to touch, on, even, touch on... Even someone like, even someone like Edge... Edge is already in the Hall of Fame. Mm-hmm. But again, somebody but, retired. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Somebody retired, and then cash on the name value while was still fresh. Uh, I want to make sure we touch on everybody here. Uh, uh, Matt Carlins, are you, do you have a response to the sustainability of the Hall of Fame here? Uh, I think uh, looking backwards, uh, if you look at some of those Hall of Fame classes that they had, maybe maybe there was like a three- or four-year run um, a couple, three- or four years ago. That sounds weird. Um, anyway, the point is, some of those Hall of Fame classes were way too stacked to the point where they were like overshadowing guys who could have headlined classes mm-hmm. um, by making them, you know, second bananas to some other guys. Um, so I think that was the problem for a while, and I kind of understand why they had to do it. They kind of had to build up the Hall of Fame brand and make it into a thing that. Fans would get excited about and want to sell out sell out an arena to watch old wrestlers share war stories. Um, so they had to build up the brand, and now that it's built, I think they are kind of stuck looking around, kind of wondering, okay, who do we induct now? Um, but at the same time, they've got a lot of big names still left. I mean, isn't The Rock still out yeah. there? He's the not been inducted yet either. And you got um, Sting and Undertaker. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I think they'll always have – the big name to go in the problem they're going to run into is like fleshing out the rest of the class they're going to have a hard time though i think they'll never have problem finding a headliner finding a celebrity to induct but i think you know those deep cuts that you're looking for um where in the past they would induct like tito santana and you'd be like all right good for tito Mm -hmm. now you get the bushwhackers and you're like what the (laughs) <laughs> um, LB, L- L- LB, uh, do you do you want to uh, chime in here on your thoughts? Um, I 
I think that it does have a, a long lifespan left to it, but um, I think I don't think it's sustainable in the in that eventually you're going to run out of people that people give a shit. You know what I mean? You are going to be scraping the bottom of the barrel and just like, oh god, who can we induct this year? You know, you're going to put all your headliners in, and then you're gonna they're going to find their hands empty and like, yeah, we could we can induct you know this person who was on WWE jacked for a while, but nobody's going to want to watch that. Maybe they'll still induct people, but they won't televise it. Mm-hmm. But um, I, I think that the longer the hall of fame goes on, the less important it will be. You know, as a takeoff on that, it, 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 yes, it will always go on. It could become smaller. Maybe we're not filling Madison square garden anymore, but we're filling or whatever arena raw is going to be on a Monday, but, but it's a smaller venue. Maybe they ran out of theater at this point. Maybe they don't have all the crowd in there, but it's still something to do. And it's content for their network. And that becomes a reason to do it. Right. Um, I mean, how well, long? I think when, I think how long was it not? Fame. How long was it not televised, for instance? But I think, I think also on top of that, when you're talking about, and you know, I have a problem when we kind of bash the undercard of the Hall of Fame and saying these guys. And this, I talked about this a little bit on the Mayhem Minute today. You know, guys like the Bushwhackers, who I really dig. I'm a really big fan of. Here they are. <clears throat> I have guys on video, for instance. Um, but uh, you know, these guys. And I know we didn't see much of it. I know all we got to see was Rikishi dancing as Rikishi. I know all we got to see is a little bit of the Bushwhackers looking heads. You wonder why was that important? And yes, those are people that have longer careers and more important ones. Rikishi is part of pretty much wrestling uh, royalty family, you know. And, and I think that's very, very important. Um, and I think there's just contributions. And we got to also remember their their consideration is this is sports entertainment. These guys licking people's heads. I had this brought up, and I, I love the, the 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 old uh, my good old friend uh, uh, hit me up on Facebook. Is like I remember them licking my head and and them asking me, you know, is my name Ron or Ronald, and is my mom gonna get mad? Or something about like when when his mom gets mad, is they call him Ronald, and then they licked his head. You know, I mean that craziness, right? And that was a memory. And to him, the Hall of Fame for these guys is the greatest thing because they entertained some little kid who's now like 30-something and is still reckoning back to that. And that's going to be the thing that resonates with him when they get announced for the Hall of Fame. Um, Zack Ryder is going to resonate with somebody 10 years from now when he's on the and, other card of the Hall of Fame. And in the long run, guys, I, I go back to, this is a fake Hall of Fame for a fake sport. This is like this is like recognizing, this is like recognizing with the gold watch, the guy that's worked for your company for the longest time, right? The the uh, empty certificate of, uh, of, of, of company recognition. Um, they just turn it into a show, you know? And plus, it's not really for us. No, absolutely not. It's for the wrestlers. Like, right. it's, like I'm sure as many people that don't care about the Bushwhackers, when they called Luke and Butch and said, hey, we'd like you guys to be in the Hall of Fame, that probably made their world. Mm-hmm. Like, the, because that, whether or not it's a fake sport, that is recognition for a body of work that you are presumably proud of. Yeah. Which and it's not about titles, it's not about anything else. I, I was saying today on the on the other show, where the, you know who deserves and has not had a title and has not done anything significant, say in the ring, in years, uh, if maybe ever you could argue, Brooklyn Brawler. Yeah, should be in. Barry there. Horowitz. Barry Horowitz should be in. Barry there. Horowitz, perennial loser. Barry Horowitz should be in the Hall of Fame. Right. <laughs> Right, and uh, I mean, it just uh, you like. I think, I think there's going to be like they will flesh it out with, you know. We've mentioned, you know, sometimes they will have people that are like, I don't have no idea who that is. Does not need to be somebody who contributed to WWE in particular. We've had plenty of those. We've had promoters that Vince shut down, inducted <laughs> into the Hall of Fame, for instance. You know, it doesn't matter. They were a contribution to wrestling, and that gets identified. And they get to do something, and you know, and these guys get paid. By the way, like this isn't just you show up and get it right. You, you get you get a nice paycheck when you do this. And stuff. sometimes when when Vince brings in an old promoter, that old promoter sells his library of videos. That's to right. Vince. That's kind of a thank you. Here's a ring for selling us your mm-hmm. stuff. So Dixie, it's kind of... Carter 2016. Come on, guys. <laughs> 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 
I would like to I would like to add, then ask a, an additional large large question. Okay. There are, there are uh -oh. multiple professional wrestling hall of there there's the WWE Hall of Fame that we that we're talking about right now. Right. There's also an actual professional wrestling hall of fame. Right. Uh, this year they have announced their uh, they have announced their their inductees. The pioneer era is Joe Mousewitz and Great Gamma. Uh, the television era is Pedro Morales and Whipper Billy Watson. The modern era is Kurt Henning and Rick Martel. Ladies is Vivian Vachon. The tag team is the Fabulous Freebirds. The colleague is Jim Crockett Sr. And the international inductee is Tomomi Jumbo Saruda. I, I appreciate, the, and I've, I've seen these lists before from the Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. they, have like a, they have like a set group each year. So they have like a, before 1946 is the pioneer era. The television era is 43 to 84. And then modern era is 85 to present. They pick two people from each of those. They have one ladies inductee, one tag team inductee, one colleague, which is usually a promoter, and they have somebody internationally. Which one seems to make more sense here? Because I think this one is more neutral. I'm sure that there's somebody behind it and everybody gets real mad that that person still has beef with other people, but there's not the direct Vince McMahon doesn't like you or you don't like Vince McMahon and that's why you're not in such and such Hall of Fame, whereas these guys are more brand neutral or promotion neutral. Plus, this is like a non It's just interesting. This, this, yeah, this is, this is like a non-profit in comparison. I mean, this is like, I, and I've heard about this, and I've heard of stories from some of the guys here locally talking about, you know, going up to it, like, like Zor Lord Zoltan and stuff. Um, like, it's, it's yeah, it's something completely different. It, it's, it, it is neutral. It, it's just a, a group that kind of started this up. Um, but uh, Senator Hugh Farley Award. Oh, that's interesting. It looks like a senator in New York is actually involved. But that makes sense that it's in New York. Uh, Amsterdam, New York, to be pre uh, uh, precise. Um, because, I mean, well, you know, look at Mass Square Garden, right? So it's a big mecca of that. And they have, it, it, you know, the names, a lot of people don't know the names you mentioned, but you look at the headliner, the headline here, I mean, it's across the top, you have um, 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 Harley Race and you have... Uh, 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 J.J. Dillon, Animal Steel, Terry Funk, right? Uh, Mr. Perfect's in here, class of 2015, uh, as you mentioned. Um, you know, it, Lord Alfred Hayes from 2014. Like, this is the rest of it, and this is other people that contributed. Again, not the... Mr. Wrestling 2 is in this, you know. Um, but again, recognition. And uh, this is the one that's not with the big paycheck, like we talked about with WWE, so... Anyways, let us know what you think. Uh, the question of the week, this will be around on the tweets. Use the hashtag uh, WMS big question and let us know, can the WWE Hall of Fame be sustainable and still feel big for a long time? Um, and this week, you have the opportunity to win a digital download from PittsburghWrestling.com, the best of AJ Styles in IWC Volume 2. Uh, this was released from uh, earlier last year. And uh, let's see, uh, on this one, uh, you'll, you can see AJ Styles take on Christopher Daniels from all the way back in 2005. Uh, uh, Chris Sabin, the first time he took on Matt Hardy, when Matt Hardy was kind of sort of maybe under contract with WWE uh, back in 2005. Samoa Joe is on here, um, and uh, uh, a couple times actually Samoa Joe, and uh, some really, really great stuff. Uh, but no, hashtag WS big question. Last week, our question was, what should WWE give up for Lent? Lent. Not Lent. Lent. Um, some of our answers from Steve-O Explosion says, simple answer, it's Roman Reigns. <laughs> Another one from The Wrestling Revolution? Hmm? What? That job is just now. This guy, should you read this? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but apparently yours was, what should they give up? Uh, for Vince not to talk to the announcer's table for 40 days <laughs> you want to ex expound on that a little bit <laughs> hello yeah i would say do you want to no. i was gonna say do you want to expand on that a little bit no yeah i was just saying uh for vince to not be on the micro on the headset of michael cole for 40 days and just let them run 
by themselves. See what happens, right? I don't yeah. know. Would it be better or worse? I'm, I'm not. I'm not sure. It could be even more of a train wreck. You don't really know. Um, but uh, either way, Steve Explosion and the Wrestling Revolution is going to get a copy digitally of the RWA Best of 2013, including a lot of friends of the show on that. Some good stuff. So with that, hey, check out um, our friends at ProWrestlingTees.com. My linky links aren't working. I don't know if I can show this off. Uh, but you can check out some great designs from great Alex Cars that joined us last week here on the